I feel like, you know, he he's a great fit for our offense. And, uh, you know, I feel like we can make a lot of plays this year as a team and as an offense. How about the, the pace of the offense? Is that something that, you know, we hear about that a lot, and I'm sure we'll see it at some point, but just how how much different is it? Because y'all have seen some hurry up. You've been in some two-minute, four-minute, but this looks like a different level. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a different level. I would say it's, it's a whole lot faster than we're all used to, but we're all starting to buy in as an offense, and we're all starting to really understand what Coach really wants from us. And uh, I'll say that it's, it's definitely a whole lot faster, and, and uh, it's going to be fun. Princeton, you've obviously been through a lot. I mean, a lot of changes in your time at Tennessee from bouncing around position to position, different offenses, and head coach, new staff. Uh, how do you kind of summarize this journey you've been at, you've been on here at Tennessee? Uh, it's been a great journey. You know, it's a blessing to actually be able to play uh, football here at the University of Tennessee. That's where I first start off with. And, uh, you know, I, I bounced around, but my main focus was wherever I can fit in to help my team out. That was was my main goal. You know, if it was at running back, if it was at tight end, if it was at receiver, if it was at linebacker, you know, it's, it's been a crazy journey. But I feel like, you know, I'm, I'm here at at the spot that uh, the team needs me the most. And, and whatever I have to do to, to help my team, that, that is my main focus. And quick follow up. Are, are you excited about being able to show your pass catching ability and maybe splitting out a little bit more and showing what you can do from that standpoint? Yes, sir. I'm extremely excited about that. I'm, I finally get the chance to to show who I'm about, show who I really am. And, uh, you know, I want to make, I want to do whatever I can, like I said, uh, to be there for my team and uh, help my team and, you know, really, really show what, what Tennessee is about. Hey, Kelly, oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. Hey, Princeton, uh, Vince asked you kind of about kind of moving around position to position. I, I'm wondering how, uh, at what point did you kind of feel settled in at tight end or, or are you still trying to settle in and do you think it maybe suits you best? And I guess how long is it taking you to kind of uh, adjust to, to playing there? Uh, I'll say I'm pretty, I'm pretty settled in, you know, uh, you know, tight end was different for me coming out of high school. I, I played receiver, uh, but me learning and, and coming in getting extra film and extra work uh, with, with the coaches, has really helped me understand uh, pass blocking, run blocking, you know, running routes uh, was something that I that I already had. Uh, but you know, uh, it, it's it's been a great experience. I feel like I'm settling down pretty good, and uh, you know, I'm, I'm just ready to get this thing going, get the season going, and you know, finish spring ball strong, and you know, get get everything get going. You mentioned you were came here as a wide receiver. You played running back. What was the hardest part about about playing tight end? Was it just having to block, or was there something else that was maybe a challenge for you? Uh, it really wasn't a challenge. It just honestly learning tight end, learning what really a tight end does. And uh, it took some time to actually learn that. But I feel like I'm, I'm learning it more and more as I continue to, to practice every day, continue to come in and watch more film, you know, watch NFL film, watch the watch the guys in the NFL do, you know, play tight end and, and uh, just the footwork that they take, the routes that they run. So I feel like I'm starting to get, you know, pretty good at it. Kelly, then Vince. Hey, Princeton, you mentioned the Titans having a bigger role in this offense. How have you seen the group come along um, during spring practice so far? And what's it like been um, working with Alex Golish? Uh, I say that the Titans have come along great. I feel like we're all working, working hard together as a team and and uh, just keeping each other going uh, through the practices, you know, and uh, working with Coach Golish is, is an honor. You know, he's a, he's a great coach. He's going to push you. He's going to make sure that, you know, just – He's, he's that guy, you know, I, I, I have a lot of respect for Coach Golish and uh, I personally think that, that he has a, has a great plan and, and a great offense and I'm just ready for us to go out there and showcase that on Saturdays. Prince, just following up a little bit on, on uh, Kelly's question, your, that, that tight end room, talk about two guys specifically and what you've seen from them. One, the growth of Jacob Warren and two, your, your newcomer and Miles Campbell. Uh, Jacob Warren's a great athlete he's a great he's very smart uh smart guy you know he's he always puts the team first he's never a selfish person and um I have a lot of respect for for Jacob uh he's a hard worker you know every day we're gonna go to work and that's somebody that I love to play by and you know he's a brother to me and uh you know I have a lot of respect for Jacob and he's 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 definitely producing a lot and I, I'm proud of him uh with Miles uh Miles Campbell he's a, he's a great kid he's a young kid and uh you know, I feel like he he's coming here and he's working hard every day. And uh, 
he's going to be a great he's going to be a great player and he's going to be a great man for the tight ends most definitely sorry and also you mentioned watching nfl tight ends are, are there a couple of your favorites that you kind of zeroed in on that you like what they do uh actually uh george kittle uh you know kelsey uh noah fant i actually uh watch him a lot you know he, he's, he's a he's a big role model in my life somebody that i actually look up to and uh you know, I ask him different questions uh, every day and try to learn from him and, and see what he does as a tight end. And, you know, I feel like he, he's given me a lot of information and he's really helped me uh, step my game up and blocking and, and running and pass game and all sorts of ways. West and Eric. Princeton, how, how big was it for y'all to, to get Austin Pope back? A guy who, you know, looked like he was going to – maybe he went to the portal for a while and said he was going to come back. It, it just seems like having him back gives y'all a little bit more experience at that group. Um, just a guy who really seems to help the running game a lot. Yeah, it was it was a very big thing. You know, uh, we have, we all have a lot of respect for Pope. And uh, Pope is a, is, a, is a huge – he's a huge, you know, uh, huge part of the offense, honestly. And uh, – you know, he's he's a uh, he's one of the older guys that that helps all of us younger guys out. You know, he, he he's on us. He's he's always on us. He wants us to work hard. And, you know, he's a hard worker as well. So I feel like Pope is a it's a great, you know, I'm glad that he, I'm personally I'm glad that he's came back, honestly. And I was going to ask you, I guess maybe I should probably knock on wood when I say this, but but he saw a picture the other day. He didn't have any braces on. He was out there just to practice, didn't have anything on his elbows, his knees, his ankles. I mean, how good is it to see him out there healthy? Hey man, this is his great experience. I'm ready to get things, I'm ready to get things started with him, man. And uh, you know, we're gonna we're gonna go to work in that tight end room. That's a promise. Hey, Princeton West kind of took what I was gonna say there about uh, Austin Poe, but I guess to add to that, um, it's been a while since he's been practicing. It's been a long time since he's played. How is he looking so far? You know, media we're not there for the majority of of uh, practice. So how is he looking so far in his road back to getting back to the playing field? What I can say is Pope looked great out there, and uh. That's personally where I'll, I'll probably keep it at, you know. But I feel like I feel like Pope is he's going to be a, a great addition to the uh, tight ends again, and it's time to get things going in that room for real. We'll finish with Ryan Callahan. Hey, Princeton, just to follow up on on Miles Campbell, any any early impressions on just sort of his skill set, personality, work ethic, anything you've noticed about him? You know, just beyond what you said earlier. Yeah, he's, he he works hard. He's, he's gonna continue to work hard. He's strong. He can run routes. So, I feel like he's he's gonna be he's gonna be a great he's gonna be a great athlete. And in the future, he's gonna be, you know, I feel like he can he can be something great. Must do. Wes, I think you had one more, right? It's uh, muted, Wes. Yeah, Princeton, you were talking about Noah Fant earlier. Uh, I guess how how do you it sounded like he's someone that you communicate with. I guess how did that all get started, and um, what's that what's that relationship been like for you? Uh, it's, it's he's actually family. He's my cousin. Uh, I actually found that out from my uh, father, and uh, you know we all, we didn't really know each other at first until my father actually introduced me to him, and he actually hit me up on Instagram, and uh, you know he DM me and just and just uh, just told me just to keep going, and uh, you know. Uh, Ever since then, ever since we, ever since he texted me, you know, I feel like we we've gained that relationship together. And uh, you know, every day I hit him up and ask him different questions about what I can get better on, and you know, run blocking, pass blocking, like I said. And uh, you know, I feel like you know he's he's helped my game out a lot at tight end, and you know, learning from him and, uh, and uh, from a professional athlete in the NFL, I feel like you know he's really given me a lot of tools that I can use. And when would that have been, that text? Uh, it was just a couple months ago, a year ago. When was it that y'all were able to, to, I guess, meet up a little bit? Oh, uh, i say about a couple of weeks ago. And, uh, you know, we, we text each other back and forth. You know, I asked him for advice, like I said. and He always gives me a response. And, uh, you know, I'm going to use those those tools that he gave me. And uh, let's see how it goes. Thanks, man. Yes, sir. Thanks, Princeton, for your time. Appreciate it, boss, man.